Hey, what's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tour Review. This is my 2018 Jayco Eagle. And if you plugged into city water instead of using, of course, your water tank, um, you'll notice that one of these two pipes here might start leaking. That's going to be your overflow relief valves on your water tank, which sits just above that. Now, right here is your low point drain that can drain that tank as well as the pipes that are currently in your RV. If you plug into city water and you notice these two pipes start dripping, which mine did start dripping, Here's some ways how to fix that. And of course you can see that big puddle that formed there, but I just got that fixed. All right, so let's go over here to the water connection here. Of course, this is your docking station here. So here's my city water connection. I've got it set to, of course, city, and then I've got tank fill is up there. Now here's where the issue can arise is that this valve here can slowly start going bad. It can, of course, leak water into the tank fill side while you're set to the city side. That's gonna be the first issue there. So I'll show you the second one here in just a second, but that's usually the most common issue here. Of course, you have to detach all the water pipes behind here and then unscrew this whole panel to really get to this section here. Of course, you can get to it um, through the bathroom, but it's a bit easier to get through it if you can just pull this whole panel off and it makes it a lot easier. Okay, now we are below the kitchen, or sorry, the bathroom sink here. So what you can see here is right here is that valve that we were looking at. The water inlet is right here where you plug the hose into. It's going to go into one of these two pipes here. So my left one here, right there, is going to be for my city water. That goes right to the distribution here for all my water. Of course, it goes to my hot water tank all that right to the RV. Now the right one, that one goes to my pump, which is right here. And you can see where that splits off at that T to the pump. It also goes, you can see right over here, it also goes right to the tank, to the tank fill. And you can see my solution right there. I put a shutoff valve there. So the second issue you can have is your pump right here can actually start back feeding. There's a check valve in there, basically a one-way valve that prevents that from actually feeding water back to the pump when the pump is off. That valve can also fail. Again, though, this is a rather simple solution. This thing just unscrews from each side here, and the pump can be replaced rather easy. Just like 60 to 90 bucks on Amazon if you have that issue. But again, though, it's kind of hard to tell which one is failing. Is it going to be that check valve here, or is it going to be the check valve here? Which one? So instead of replacing both of them to potentially fail again, and a lot of campsites I go to, I really have never even used my pump to date. I've always had city water every place I've been to, so I have to even use my pump once. So that kind of created an annoying issue for me to replace parts that I don't even use. So what I did was, and the easiest solution here, was to actually just add a shutoff valve here, and that goes to my tank, which is great because that is the only way that water goes in or out of your tank there from this side of things. So if you're adding water, of course, city water, that is not going to then let your tank fill up. Now, that's the simple solution that I could find without replacing a ton of stuff. And it was a little tight in here to get the PEX tools in here to replace this. But we had it done actually within, I think, about 10 minutes. It wasn't really a big deal. And this is all PEX A in here. Definitely check and make sure which type of PEX you have before you start, you know, messing with that stuff and buy the right tools and components for it, as well as make sure that you have the right size. So this is PEX A. This is going to be half inch PEX here. So anything that works with half inch PEX A is what you want to be using if that is what you have in your RV. It's going to be definitely be aware of there. So let me show you the tools that you're going to need if you're going to attempt something like this. Very simple repair here and it fixed. You know, the issue wasn't that big of a deal. I was getting a, probably about a gallon every 24 hours what I was wasting water-wise. But I did not want to damage the valves or any of the relief valves in my freshwater tank. So that's why I definitely installed that valve there. And now I'm not leaking any water at all. My freshwater tank is staying at the level that I want it to. So let's go check out the tools you need to do this repair. All right, so here's what you're going to need to make that repair on PEX A. It's actually very, very simple. I've never actually done PEX A repairs until I did that RV repair, and I was pretty blown away by how simple it was. So here is your PEX crimp tool, and this may look kind of confusing at first, but it's actually very simple to use. It actually forces you to use the correct amount of pressure before it releases. So you have to put it all the way in before it actually will release. You can see that little thing there, and then it allows you to basically ensure that you are getting the correct amount of pressure on each of the uh, little rings here before letting go to ensure that you don't have a leak there. And what's nice about this tool is that it lets you put in those rings and only in a certain direction. So when you're putting the ring in, if you put it in right there, when we put it in, it's gonna have you basically not have it stay or have it stay centered because it goes and hits that back wall there. Then you can crimp this all the way down on your uh, valve and you are all set there. And this tool only costs, I think it's like, $35, $40 on Amazon. Comes with a bunch of these rings, which is nice, the half inch 
and the three quarter inch rings, which is awesome. It also includes this PEX cutting tool, which was actually super nice. Made a nice clean cut and very, very easy to cut too. I was kind of surprised how easy PEX actually cut. Very, very awesome tool there to use, as well as some of these valves, which I definitely bought a four pack of these because I figured I'm probably needing to use shutoff valves quite a bit on the RV. If you get a leak somewhere, something happens, I'd rather have more shutoff valves than less shutoff valves. And of course, these at Lowe's are actually pretty expensive. I think they're like 20, 30 bucks for the shark bite ones. I bought just the regular crimp on ones and they've been working great for about 18 bucks for a four pack on Amazon. I'll put links to the shipping guys. You wanna check out all this stuff. I think I spent about $49, $50 on all this to make that repair. And it was very, very easy and very, very simple to do. Last thing I definitely recommend you have is plenty of light to do work on that. This is the Milwaukee Rover light here. And the more light you have, the better. If you're working around RVs, underneath the RV, um, in tight, you know, areas under the sinks, definitely make sure you have plenty of light there. So guys, you got any questions on what the repair exactly, you know, need more details there, but that's pretty much the whole thing of the repair there. I did not find a lot of information online about that repair and why that was having issues there. Some people just, you know, just replace, you know, the inlet valve, replace the pump, and that'll probably fix it for you too. But of course, those can fail at any time. And it's kind of hard to tell which one is failing at what time. Because, of course, if one starts leaking, how do you know if the other one's not leaking or is? So that's kind of the problem there. That's why I decided to just put a whole shutoff valve on the entire line going back to the fresh water tank. That way I can just turn it all off and I'm good to go. So, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.